Hello and welcome to the mini video series of the 802.11 and LTE application framework version 1.1. In this video I will show you how to use the 802.11 application framework with two devices. So as you can see I created two projects, so two project instances of the 802.11 application framework for the use RP Rio, in my case for the 40 MHz bandwidth option. So in any case if you have a different system then just create the projects which fit to your hardware. Now the next thing that I have to do is to change the real device name according to the aliases uh, defined in my system. So in this case the left device has the alias Rio 1 and the right device has the alias Rio 2. The next thing that we need to change is to change the operation mode. So currently it's RF loopback but we have to uh, change this to RF multi-station because this has influence on certain settings. So for example for the loopback the device MAC address and the destination MAC address will be made equal. So it is overwritten by device MAC address. Indicator will be on for RF loopback but for RF multi-station we can define different device and destination MAC addresses. And this is what we will do. The left station, this is where we will keep the default settings. So this device has the number 61 in the end and it transmits to 62. So this means that we have to set the device MAC address of the second USRP to 62. And the destination MAC address of this device will be the left device. So this has the ending 61 and this is the value which we have to set here. So basically we switch the device and destination MAC address. Also we want to transmit data from the left device to the right device. So here on the left device we set data source PN data and on the right side we say manual which stands for packets are only transmitted when I press the trigger TX button and when I don't press anything then we don't transmit any data. Another thing that I have to change is in the UDP settings the receive port name because when we enable the station and these receive ports are equal on both devices we will get an error. So let's change this to 55 for example. Now that I've chosen these settings I can start my host by clicking the run button. And you will see that it was successful when the device ready indicator lights up. Now let's do the same with the first user P. And also here you will see that now the device is ready. Now let's go to the basic tab. So let's enable the first station. And what we will see is that the transmit power spectrum uh, shows the packets that we are sending. So it's the 20 MHz signal and the transmit block error rate is 1. And this is because we don't receive any acknowledgement packets. And this is because um, the second station is currently switched off. So it's not receiving the data packets and as a consequence it's not responding with acknowledgement packets. So let's enable the second station. And now we will see that it's transmitting acknowledgement packets. This is what we receive now here in the RX power spectrum of the first device. And also we will see that the transmit block error rate will go down to zero. If we disable the transmission of acknowledgement packets on the right device, we will see that now the block error rate goes up. Currently we transmit just random data, but now also let's do the video streaming. So this is why I will go to data source UDP and on the right device I will set the data sync to UDP. So this means the left host implementation receives data from an external application using the UDP protocol. And then when the right station receives this data, it will provide the data and another application will be able to receive this data also using the UDP protocol. Now let's start the application which provides video data to the first user. 
I downloaded the video demo zip file and now I start the stream video 802.11 batch file. Now as you can see, when you have a look at the data source options in the tab UDP, then you will see that there is data transfer going on, so this indicator is flickering now. And also the ticks of the backup requests detected and requests completed are now increasing. If you have a look at the basic tab, you will see that the transmit power spectrum updates because we transmit packets and the TX block error rate is zero because the second device is receiving the data packets and acknowledging them. So as a result, you will see in the advanced tab of the second host in the MACTX statistics, these two counter values, which are the TX of the SIFS requests, they are increasing. And also if we have a look at the basic tab, we will see that the Rx constellation of the second device shows a 16 QM constellation because this matches what we have set here. If we choose a higher modulation encoding scheme, maybe 64 QM, which is MCS6, then we will get an Rx constellation which shows the 64 QM. And also the RX throughput changes with the bitrate of the video. If I pause the video, for example, then you will see that the throughput goes down to zero. And also because we also now don't transmit packets, you don't see the RX and TX power spectrum updating. If I start it again, we will see that the constellation is active again and that now the RX throughput also increases again. And now we want to actually receive the video data, so we want to play back the video. So now I go to my batch files again and now I choose to play video 802.11 batch file. And as you can see it now receives the data from the second host and displays the video. If we would disable the second station then you would see that the video stops. And also if you go to the advanced tab and don't select UDP as the data sync but just disable the data sync by setting this to off, then you will also see that now the video stops. So again, the second use RP receives the data packets from the first use RP, it streams them out, and we receive it with this external application where the UDP address is equal to the UDP port which we have set here in the data sync options. So this is all for this video. I hope that you are now able to run the video streaming also in a double device setup. So for now, thanks for watching. Bye bye.